hello friends welcome back to my kitchen today we are making mashed potatoes and two ingredients we have we have seven medium potatoes we have cabbage we have some onions here we have ground nuts you can use cashew nuts instead um here we have sage we have himalayan salt and garlic powder and actually those are all the ingredients so we'll wash our potatoes and dice them as you can see here and put to boil water in a sufuria then add the potatoes and bring to a boil um you can add turmeric if you wish just ensure they are fork tender when you insert a fork they go in easily and you know that you're good to go so this was after 15 minutes yes and we'll drain the water and the water we will use it i did not use much water in the boiling so we'll use it in blending or you can use it in other recipes as a vegetable stock mash up your potatoes remember i said that you can add turmeric to bring color um after mashing we'll go to the other ingredients i wish to tell you that the tops of the po potatoes are rich in potassium that is why I'm retaining them. Here we have our cabbage and onions. Saute this on medium low heat with a little water for just three minutes until the onions have become translucent and the cabbages are a bit tender. Instead of cabbage, you can use cauliflower actually cauliflower will give you a beautiful taste yes so i had cabbage at hand and that's what i used um once this is done into your blender add the vegetable broth the water that remained after you cooked your potatoes add your ground nuts remember i said you can use cashew nuts um your sage and your cabbage and onions then your garlic and lastly we will add our salt so once you're done cover and blend until smooth we will hide this in our mashed potatoes to give it extra nutrients the proteins from the groundnuts and the vitamins and minerals from the cabbage and the salt so this is just it once this is done add to your potatoes and manually mix add small portions at a time depending on the amount of mashed potatoes you have and also depending on the amount of moisture in your potatoes yeah and this is ready to be served I topped it up with some sage and chopped scallions or spring onions and so when you eat eat this to the glory of God remember to be a channel of light wherever God has placed you I hope that you like this recipe, otherwise bye bye.